Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. First of all, um, just want to say hi to everybody who's watching. Um, today is Sunday, September 8th. Right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. So before I start this video, I want to quickly uh, shout out to my friend Hui. Um, this morning he had to let me borrow his two. Um, these are brand new sets of two that he has. Never been used. Uh, apparently he just had it. Um, he was able to let me borrow it in order to fix my card. Um, so yeah, appreciate a lot. So I just want to quickly shout out to my friend uh, Hui for allowing me to borrow um, his two. So let's quickly show you guys what's going on uh, this morning, what we're working at. Um, so the car that I have right here in front of you is a 2008 for escape hybrid and what's going on is that the car won't start from the ignition so if you guys have this problem uh, let me put all these stuff on the side so if you have this problem um most likely is it's caused by the ignition um so when you stick your key in i don't know if you can see it right here from that side just from this part you know what i'll just take this sorry guys i'm using my phone to record okay so check this out so if you put your key in stick it in you turn all the way as you can see it doesn't start so nothing happened you saw the battery starts up but it doesn't work so what happened was uh previously past three four months what i've been doing is i've been pushing the car key in like this push it in and then turn it and usually it starts up um, but now past two or three days ago um, it doesn't work anymore I don't know I guess the ignition just start giving up and when I look online a penny for four escape is pretty common for 2008 to 2012 um, what they say was the the ignition uh, which I'm gonna call it the ignition switch ignition switch module tends to wear out inside um so when watching the youtube i don't know if you guys could see me when i watched the youtube video um there was a there was actually a few video that teaches you how to fix it uh teaches you how to switch an ignition uh switch uh there was a one video where the guy actually took out this part machine and then he started grinding it and doing all that stuff it was a lot of work. Uh, obviously, I don't suggest you guys doing it. And then there was another gentleman, uh, actually more than one. There was three or four gentlemen. What they did was that they took out the ignition, ignition switch, which is a pretty big machine that goes around here. Um, I'll show you later when I open it up. Uh, online, you could get it for roughly about 100 bucks. Um, yeah, and basically when you switch that, it started up. So... And what they what the guy was saying is that for for Escape or for uh, Mazda Tribute, you know, from year two thousand eight to two thousand twelve, it's pretty common that these uh, ignition switch went way out. Uh, it's the connection between the key to the starter or something like that went out. Um, but another good news is that I found another video where the person was telling me that you don't really need to change the whole module system. You could just change the the switch itself, which is uh, one of these. Um, let me show you the box. Um, the serial number is, uh, the model number is US4D1. I got this from O'Reilly for 53 bucks plus tax is about uh, 60, it's about 58.99. So it looks something like this. And this is actually part of the ignition switch module, the whole thing. It's just that you don't have to switch the whole thing. You just switch one part of it. But anyway, let's get started and so that I could um, show you more. I know that it's kind of confusing when I try explaining it. So to remove it, to change it, uh, you remove these three screws right here. There's one, two, and three. This is right underneath the steering wheel. Um, I guess the previous owner part, previous owner that that um, that owned this car, 
they probably uh, changed it already before because as you see these three screws are different I actually remove it ahead of time um, so the standard it should be this one but I don't know why what happened to with this one uh, when I removed this it was on the bottom right here and it shouldn't be this screws it should be these one these regular one but I don't know what was this so obviously indicate that someone probably changed the module before or something or they open it and let me quickly show you guys uh, what socket are you are we working with so for me to remove the bottom three um, let me open it I use oh dang this thing came off let me fix that organize it okay so what I use is a uh, I believe I use a 316 let me quickly check oh you know what what I could do is this I'll just put this back in yeah, I don't want to make a mess because it's not mine. I want to be nice and um, organized. So, let me see. Yep, it is. Uh, so, it's 732. 732, guys. Um, I think the 6 millimeter or f was it 6? No, 6 doesn't work. It's, it's kind of loose. So, it's supposed to be 5.5, but obviously, uh, we don't have a 5.5 socket. We only have 6, but 6 is a bit kind of big so use a 732 which is the closest one um socket and it'll work let me fix this yeah so anyway that's it oh let me put this back it's keep falling out why is it falling out <clears throat> sorry guys one hand's kind of hard anyway i'll fix that later so after you remove those three screws um let me move the steering wheels down a little bit so it's easier and you want to remove this cover. Um, so just grab the top, kind of pull it apart. Wiggle it. Uh, you know what? I'll use a flat head to help me with this. So grab a flat head, kind of just jam it in. Uh, you don't want to scrape it, obviously. There we go. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand, guys, and holding the camera at the same time. So, uh, work with me over here. It should just come up. There we go. So, one part came out already. Uh, these are just regular clip-on. It doesn't have any screws. The only part that it screws on is the bottom part. So, after it's loose, you could just grab it. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. So, yeah, this whole thing came off. So you just set it aside. And the one that I'm talking about, the module, is this thing. This whole piece of metal right here. That is the initial switch that I saw online that other people are working with. But since I already removed the screws on the bottom, uh, this should be just coming out easily. But still be careful though. I mean, it is my first time doing it. Uh, you know what? I need to move the steering wheel up so there's enough room. There we go. So after I move the in up, just jiggle with it. Go easy because uh, you don't want to damage the the sensor right here. Apparently, this uh, this car has a sensor for the key. Um, so yeah. So just grab it. It should it should just come down. Oh yeah. Also, when you're moving this, loose this part up. The, this thing. This is the one that adjusts the. Uh, the steering wheel up and down so loose it up so and she just pop white out there we go so yeah so this handle right here it actually goes in this uh, rectangle opening right here so anyway i'm going to put it aside it's kind of dirty so yeah um uh, i don't know if you can see let me open the door so the ignition switch is this thing right here this piece, this whole thing, that's the ignition switch. And what the YouTuber online was teaching us to do is to switch this whole module, which is pretty tough. In order to switch that, you have to take out the whole steering wheel and take out um, the 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 turn signal and everything, which is it's a lot of work. I mean, the the part, the two most difficult part that I could think of. Is removing the steering wheel because you need a um, 
a pulley for this to to pull this out. And you could actually rent a pulley for free at the AutoZone. Uh, they have the two for rent. You put $20 deposit and then after you return the two, they will return you the $20. You could use that. And then another problem with doing that is a is a uh, the bolt right here. Um, you need to saw this or, or make a wedge on the in between. I don't know if you can see. You need to make a wedge in between so that you could put a flat head in and open it and unscrew this. Because uh, the bolt that they use is a break off bolt um, from the dealer. So yeah, this the only thing I could think of is these two. It's kind of hard to remove this and then the steering wheel, which is the top part. But other than that, it's good. So anyway, I saw a video where someone took just this part out, just this thing right here, the mechanical mechanism right here, and took it out and just start grinding it, stuff like that. I wouldn't think that would work. And then the the other one was the uh, I seen three or four video where someone switched this. Uh, uh, ignition switch module which is this whole thing and it started right up and I saw another two video where the guy just changed this which is part of the ignition switch module so if you could tell I'll put I'll set this aside right here so the ignition switch module like I was mentioning I'm sorry if I repeat so many times is this whole piece right here the whole thing um, so when you buy the ignition switch, uh, I checked online, it costs about 100 bucks. The cheapest I could find is about 96 bucks. Part of the ignition switch is this. Uh, when you buy the ignition switch, this actually came with it, which is somewhere around right here. And what people were saying that instead of changing the whole thing, you could just change this by itself. So the way how you remove this is there's a clip right here. You push this right here. You see it? It's moving. So just push this down and pull, pull towards the left. Oh, it's kind of hard to do it with the one hand, guys. Sorry. Let me see if I could grab a flat here, really quick, and then get this going. All right. So grab a flat here. Just push in on it. And do you see it? You, I don't know if you can see it. So push down on it, push in, and it should just come out. There we go. So after this is out, to remove this, and the, I don't know what this is called, but it's part of the ignition switch. Um, instead of changing the whole thing, you just change part of it. Um, it looks something like this. Oh, and look at that. There's a rust on it compared to this one. It's brand new. Anyway. Um, on the top, there's a button right here where you push down on it, and then there's a bottom one too. So you push the top and bottom at the same time while you while you pulling it out. So the bottom is let me see, it's right here. I see it. Yep. And then the top one's right here. I don't know if I could do it with one hand. Sorry, guys. Um, I need to use two hands for this. I hope you guys can see that. Well, you just have to trust me with this. This part, yeah. So I just push and oh, it's pretty hard. Oh, stuck on. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, guys. Give it. I don't want you guys to watch this. Okay, guys, I got it. I have to say it was pretty tough to take this out. It took me a few a while and then uh, use a flat here. So what happened is uh, at first I thought you kind of just push it out like that, but no, it doesn't work that way. You actually have to push it towards closer towards you. So you push it closer towards you while you're pushing left at the same time because this part right here uh, the back of it is actually holding it in so you can't really push it forward because it's, it's being hit with this uh, oval shape right here half and so the way how it works is that when you stick the key in and we turn this thing actually turn with it too this is the key mechanism right here it's turned with it and supposedly it's this thing that's broke it's not the it's not the whole switch it's just part 
part of the switch is broken that's why they were saying that you know you don't have to switch this whole thing and remove the whole steering wheel you just have to change the part of the ignition switch instead of switching the whole thing i hope it's too so let's give it a try um yeah wow that was a lot of work but anyway let's hope this work so just doing it in reverse i assume i'm just taking it forward while you stick it in quickly look at it so the key the key the mouth out to be aligned Hold on. okay guys I put it back in that took a while you just got to uh, jam it in I hate to say it but you just got to push it hard and push it in so this is the new one this is the old one as you could see in the middle, it's the middle is kind of rusty. I don't know, it's the connection or sense we were having. But yeah, so anyway, let's connect this back inside like that. And before I put everything away, let's try start it up. See if it works, <sighs> guys. Let's hope this is it. Holy smoke, started up right there, instantly, first try, without removing the steering wheel. So guys, this is the, well I hope this is it, so that, you know, if you if you guys watch the other video, um, you know, what they're doing is correct, but instead, you don't have to change this whole thing, you just have to change this small uh, gadget or whatever thing, module thing. Let's try it again. Turn it off. See if it starts up. Oh, damn, it didn't work again. What the? Oh, it worked. Wait, wait, hold on. What is going on? Okay, start it up again. Take the key out. I know this thing is kind of bad too. It's, the car is getting old. So this part is kind of loose. But let's see what happened. Okay, so I noticed that I still have to push it in a little bit. So as you can see, stick the car key in, turn to the arm position. This is the arm position. Push it in tiny little bit. So it, it worked. I mean, it's not as what I expected. I was expecting a smooth, but still, it's better than before. You know, I accept that. Yep. Okay. So it's a complete, guys. Um, if you want, just change this module right here. And then everything should be fine. Um, it's probably this uh, connection sensory right here. So what happened was when you stick the keys in, and then that piece of metal sticks into here. And when it turns, this thing turns as well. And then it sends the signal down to the, comp uh, to the starter. But I think the connection here went bad that's probably the reason why so yeah guys so just have to change this um anyway i'm going to put everything back in so thanks for watching if you guys have any comment leave it below but final suggestion don't change you don't have to change your um ignition switch the whole module which is this whole thing right here the only thing you have to change is part of the module, which is this thing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, if you look, Google it, just type in initial switch module and look for something that looks something shaped like this. Um, if you look on Amazon, or you could get these for roughly about 20 something, 30 bucks. I got this from O'Reilly for $50 something. Uh, they have it in stock. Yeah, but if you could wait, um, you could get the cheaper one for 30 something. Alright, thanks for watching guys.